we will be homeless to the Buddha by reciting Namo Dasa three times. Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Dasa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa we have already talked about metta meditation. So today we have to continue three remaining Brahma Vihara, Sublime Biting, Karuna, Murita, and Ubeka. Well, these Paliwas are very common in Buddha's teaching. We can find in many places about Karuna compactions. Murita Samatri Juan Ubaka Equanimity. Today we will talk we will start talking about Karuna compactions. So before developing compaction, the meditator should review the disadvantages of lacking compactions and advantages of compaction. So when we can review all these things we will be able to practice easier and better. So when we have, if we don't have compactions, we will be cruel. So lack of compactions can produce cruelty. So here we have to know the disadvantages of cruelty. First, loss of wealth. So you can imagine when we are walking for any, we might communicate with people. If we are cruel or no, no more kindness, no more compactions, our relationship cannot be good. Then there will be loss of wealth. Two, loss of reputation. So this is also very important when we are Good, we may have good reputation. When we are bad, we may have bad reputation. Our reputation is also one of the cause of our success or failure. Three, being born in the lower class, which means we will be reborn in the lower class, such as like a scavenger or something like that. Then four, being ugly. So this is actually very simple about these types of disadvantages. For example, when we get angry, we, our face does not look good. Our behavior is not that much nice. So our actions are also not very good for other people. Then, Briefly, if we have too much anger, too much cruelty, then our lifespan will be shorter. Number five, shortening lifespan. So these are the first five. We also have another one, being unhealthy as a six. So the more we get angry, the more we have sickness, because our mind also can produce mental sickness. They are mind brutal mentalities, they also can cause sickness. Seven, lack of confidence in public. So which means if we are cruel, then nobody will accept us in public. That's why we may not have any confidence in the public which means if we have to say something in public, we dare not say. Then if we have to do something in public, we dare not do. Then eight, being born in lower realm. This is also one of the disadvantages. 
So when we have a cruelty, this also akusala, unwholesome mind. That is why if we pass away with unwholesome mind, we will be reborn in the lower destination, such as hell. Any of any four states? And not only that, <clears throat> we also have many other disadvantages of cruelty. Anyway, the main thing is when we have hatred, as a result, people will hate us. If we dislike people, they will dislike us. This is very common. Okay, we should move the next steps. Radiating compaction, step and step. So this is also really very important to radiate compaction to our living beings. Sometimes we just recite the Bali formula. For example, Sabi Sada Dukha Mujandu. Sometimes we also really matter to our compassion to ourselves. Aham, Dukha Mujandu. Dukha Mujami. Let me have this kind of radiating. But in the case of meditations, it will be a little bit different from recitation. Because we have to ready meta to our living beings. So in, here in the case of compactions, karuna, we have to radiate compaction towards a suffering beings. So sometimes we cannot find any suffering beings around us. What to do? Of course, we have to reflect or review suffering of aging, sickness, death. There are also many other suffering like lamentations, despair, sorrow, grief in our life. We can also review all these types of suffering that we can radiate conviction to our suffering beings. Sometimes we cannot review that easily. What shall we do? There are many, many bad things. There are many, many evil doers in the world. If we see some evil doers, we can also pay attention to them. We can already compassion to what? Evil doers. Because even, even though they can live in this very life comfortably, but, but after death, they will suffer for their misdeeds. That is why if we don't have any suffering beings, or if we are not ready to review suffering of other living beings, and we should pay attention to evil doers, and also we can ready corona towards evil doers. Then two, ready to compassion towards ourselves. It will be a little bit different from two different persons. When we radiate compassion towards a suffering being, we can take to as a sorry, that jhana. But when we radiate compassion to ourselves, we cannot attain any jhana. Then, <clears throat> as we have already known in our daily channel, also we have compassion, right? For example, may I be free from suffering, may I release from suffering. So in the very beginning, we have to radiate compassion towards a suffering beings. For example, as we have mentioned before, it must be our own sex. Female should radiate compassion towards female. Male should radiate compassion towards male. So may he be free from suffering. Anti, we can change jhana, we can radiate compassion towards a suffering being. Then we have to continue radiating meta to ourselves. May I be free from suffering or may I release from suffering? Then three, now we have to radiate compaction towards a dear person. We may have many dear person. 
and you will be getting ready conviction towards our dear person. Then again, <clears throat> in this case also, it must be our own sex. May he be released from suffering. We can ready up to the third channel. If we can practice well, we can into another dear person. Empty up to the third jhana. Then to another dear person, up to ten dear persons. Up to ten persons and take third jhana for each object. Then four, radiating compaction towards indifferent an indifferent person. As we have already mentioned in meta meditation, indifferent person means is it not very close to us? Is it also not very like a disturbing people? Just normal people. On the way we have seen, we have met, even we don't know their name. This is called indifferent person. So we can radiate compaction towards indifferent an indifferent person. Indifferent means neither we love nor we hate. So that means if we can really come back to our in, an indifferent person up to the third jhana, we can also choose another indifferent person up to 10 persons, up to that jhana for each indifferent person. So finally, we have to really come back to towards our enemy. I mean, the one we dislike or the one who disturbs us too much. So when we can radiate compaction towards our enemies, then we have to try up to that, that until we can attain the third jhana. Similarly, as we have mentioned before, 10 persons, 10 enemies, one by one, until we can attain that jhana for each enemies. So, we also mentioned about the formula. There's only one formula to radiate compaction. Ayan Saburi So to Kamu Chantu. May this good person be free from suffering. So as we, we have mentioned in meta meditation, we have to radiate compaction, see breaking down the bears, and then radiate compassion, all the twelve types of living beings in ten directions. Okay, I have to review as we have mentioned in meta meditation, because very long time we don't give Tama talk. I think you may have forgotten then we have to continue reaching to our dear person, one dear person, after that jhana, one indifferent person, after that jhana, one me, after that jhana, after that we can restart from ourselves. Compassion to ourselves, to another. So four in each, there will be ten set of four. So as we have mentioned in meta meditation, ten set of We ourselves, dear, and an indifferent person, a family, an enemy. After relating continuously, there's no more evil, no more hatred to anybody. We have equal compassion towards four different persons. As we have compassion to ourselves, we may have compassion towards our dear person, our an indifferent person, or our enemy. 
If we have equal compactions, that means we have already break down the barriers. After that, we can continue radiating compaction towards two different types of persons. As we mentioned before, sabbesata, all the living beings, that means those who have attachment to their life. Sabbebana, all the breathing beings. Sabbebuddha, those who are becoming. That means those who are born according to karma and kilesa, and so forth. I think you have already know all the twelve different types of persons. Also, ten directions. For example, in the east, we have to really matter to all the living beings. Sapi sata. So we have to really compassion to all the living beings, all the living beings in the east. May all the living beings in the east where be or they. May all the living beings in the East release from suffering. So, if we get ready up to the third jhana, we can move to the next living beings on the, the next directions. So, all the ten directions. We have to after that we have to move to another living, another groups, another categories: sabbe, bana, sabbe Buddha, and so forth. So as we have mentioned in meta meditation, we can also radiate karuna towards all the living beings until we can attain the third jhana. Now we have to move to mudita. Samatha join. So when we are going to radiate mudita, samatha join, we must radiate meta towards a happy dear person. The thoughts. A young Sapuri saw that a lot of somebody do my wicked chant to. May this good person not separate from his prosperity. That means the prosperity he has obtained. So, this is a, only, only one formula for Murita, some 32. Then, as we were mentioned before. In the meta, in the Murita also, we have to break down the barriers. Then we also have to radiate some some thirty join systematically, as we mentioned before. So <coughs> they are mentioned <coughs> radiating Murita towards. Okay, I have to change the formula, right? We have to radiate co compassion towards. A happy living beings in the very beginning. After that, we have to really compare that towards some that join towards ourselves, towards dear persons, to persons, towards an enemy. This in the very beginning, we have this formula. When we can attain jhanas up to that jhana, then we have to change the formula. That means we have to. Break, the, break down the barriers. Now in the slide we have already mentioned, we have to radiate Murita to ourselves until we can attain, sorry, we cannot attain Jhana. Then we can radiate Murita towards a dear person after the third Jhana. We can radiate Murita towards an indifferent person after that Jhana. Then we can attain, whether we can radiate compactions or Murita towards an enemy until we can attain the third Jhana. After that, we have to restart with ourselves, another dear person, another indifferent person, another enemy. In this way, we can practice 10 sets of four persons. As we have mentioned in Karuna, we also have to continue radiating Murita towards all the living beings, two types of living beings in the 10 directions. So we have already talked about 11 benefits of Meta in the very beginning, in the previous time I talk. Now, in the case of Murita also, there are 11 benefits of Karuna and Murita. They are also the same to Meta Meditation. So if you wish to know, you can review Meta, right? you, can, you can review Meta, the benefit of Meta, right? It's also, it's very simple. Explanation and the benefit of meta, for example, like uh, we can sleep in comfort, 
we can wake in comfort, we may dreams, no evil dreams, then we may, <clears throat> we are dear to human beings, we are dear to non-human beings, also devas also cut us, then fire poisons and weapons do not affect us, then our mind is also easily concentrated, then our complexions become bright, then when we die, we will be unconfused, then we can be reborn in a higher destination if we cannot attain path and fruition knowledge or if we cannot attain hardship. So these are the benefits of metta we have already mentioned before, because a long time no Dhamma talk, you may forgot that's why I just review all the things. Okay, now we have to continue talking about Upeka equanimity. So before radiating equanimities, we should see the danger of weakness of metta, karuna, and mudita. So, okay, one more thing here. What is the danger? What is the weakness? Sometimes metta also is very close to raga attachment. Karuna also very close to worry or sorrow. Mudita also sounded very close to jealousy. That is why we have to know the danger or the weakness of metta, karuna and mudita. Not only that, when we are going to radiate upaka, we have to start with metta, karuna, mudita also. Metta jhana is it easier to take. Karuna and mudita also a little easier to take, but upaka is not that easy. Without attaining Meta karuna, upe, meta karuna Modita up to that jhana, we cannot practice upaka. That is why upaka is not for beginners, not first time practitioners. When we are going to practice upaka, we must have practiced meta meditation, karuna meditation, upaka meditation up to that jhana. Okay, now. When we are going to start practicing Upaka equanimity, we have to radiate equanimity. That means that we have to radiate metta towards and in different persons or our own sex. Up to that jhana, for example, may he be free from danger, up to that jhana, and so forth. There are many other three other remaining formula, right? We have to do the same. Then we also have to continue use. <clears throat> Radiate meta towards an indifferent persons up to the third jhana with four formulas. Then we also have to radiate karunas towards the same indifferent persons up to the third jhana. We also have to radiate mudita towards the same different persons up to the third jhana. After that, review the weakness of metta, karuna, and mudita. Here I have to elaborate a little bit more about reviewing because it is a very common. When we are going to practice ubeka, we also, have, we also have to know karma ownership. That's why we have to know the weakness of metta. For example, although we wish them to be free from danger, he may not be free from danger. It's not sure. Everything cannot happen as we wish. Then again, although we wish him to be free from mental pain, it's not sure. He may be free from mental pain, he may not be. Although we wish him to be free from bodily pain, it's not sure. He may be, he may not be. Although we wish him to be well and happy, it's not sure. He may be well, he may be unwell also. He may be happy, he may not be unhappy. He may not be happy also. That is why we have to know the weakness of meta. Although we wish, it's not sure. Similarly, karuna. 
although we wish him to be free from suffering, is not sure. He may be free from suffering, he may not be free from suffering. Similarly, mudita. Although we have compact, we have sympathetic joy into our, our indifferent person, we wish him not to separate from his prosperity he has obtained. Is not sure. Although we wish him, sometimes he can separate from his prosperity. So, which means, although we wish them to be perfect, but it's not sure. Everything cannot be happening as we wish. Then we have to review Kama ownership. Six. Next one, right? Five, reviewing the advantages of equanimity. So that means equanimity is the only, that means if we know the power of equanimity, sure that our mind will be poisoned like a meta is very close to Raga already, right? That means we may have more equanimity. Karuna also, worry, will we, will we be free from it? Will it also? Some jealousy, but we can be free from it. Then six, revealing the karma ownership. Although I wish them to be free from danger, it will be according to their own karma. Their karma is their creator. They will not go beyond that. That is why in revealing karma ownership, he may be according to his own karma. Everything will happen according to his own karma. Other that, we can radiate Ubaka to other indifferent person. This woman is the hair of his own kama. So we can radiate Ubaka and we can also attain the fourth jhana. So in the case of Metta, Karuna, Murita, we can attain up to that jhana. But in the case of Ubeka, we cannot attain the first jhana, second jhana, third jhana. We can only attain the fourth jhana. Until we can attain the fourth jhana, we have to radiate Ubeka towards and the same different person. So similarly, when we are going to practice, to break down the barriers, we also have to do the same. So, for example, we have to radiate meta to ourselves with four formulas. Karuna to ourselves, Murita to ourselves. After that, we also have to review the weakness of meta, Karuna, Murita. Also, reviewing the advantages of Ubeka. And also, Kama ownership. After that, we can radiate Ubaka towards ourselves, but we cannot attain jhana. After that, we have to radiate Ubaka towards a dear person, also, also irrespective of person. We can choose either one. Then finally, we can also do indifferent persons. Right? So we have to do already all the things. I read that we have to radiate Ubaka towards in different persons. So every person we have to start with meta. For example, as we mentioned, we are ready to ourselves, meta, karuna, murita, I read that review, then Ubaka. Similarly, respect or dear person, we have to radiate meta, karuna, murita, I read that review, then Ubaka. Similarly, in different persons and enemies. As we have mentioned in Karuna and Murita, we have to practice a daily 10 sets of four persons and we can break down the barriers. Then if we have equanimity to all the living beings, the same. As we have equanimity to ourselves, we also have equanimity to all other living beings. Then we have already break down the barriers. After that, as we have mentioned before, we can Radiate Upekha towards 12 types of living beings, 
in 10 directions, one by one, as we mentioned in Metta Meditation. So here I mentioned the benefits of radiating equanimity are also same to the benefit of Metta. I have already listed out the benefits of Metta, right? Then we have to continue the next group. So here we just talk about general. It mentioned the meaning of four divine abidance. Meta, meta is the root, or the ta is the suffix. It is the primary derivative noun. Then another one is meta, meta plus na. This is a secondary derivative noun. So for about the first formula, meta ta. Here Bali explanation is necessity, sinecity, the meta. That means to be left with. This is called meta. This is the primary derivative now. Mete bawa, meta sa esa bawati. The behavior towards a friends. This is also called meta. So when we have good friends, our behavior to our good friend will be different. We may have more kindness, more intentions. Then, as we have already known about karuna, compactions, they also mention kara plus una, only primary derivative now. So there is another one, ki plus runa plus a, kira plus u plus a. There are three types of roots mentions. Actually, every Pali word we can analyze like this. Then also we can also know the proper meaning. Okay, now the definition, Bali to Bali definitions. Paradukhe sati sadhu nam hariya kampanam karoditi karuna. A good people's heart is shaken when seeing or knowing the suffering of other living beings. So that means normally in our daily life, if we cannot see any suffering beings, our minds are not shaken, very common. When hearing or when seeing, when hearing or when seeing somebody suffering, our mind will start shaking. This is the nature of karuna, compassion. Then two, kina ti para do kam kina sati kina sati karuna. It demolishes, demolishes suffering of other beings. So not only shaken our heart, our minds, we also wish to remove suffering of other living beings. This is also called karuna. Then three. Kiriyati, Doki Desu, Pranavasena, Pasariyati Karuna. It extends compaction towards suffering beings by pervasion. So that means we have to ready matter to our all types of living beings. Extending. This is also the nature of compassion according to Bali definitions. Then again, we also have the nature of mudita. Unfortunately, I didn't explain in English, right? But anyway, yeah, you have already, already translated into English. Okay, now one more thing. Mudita means muta plus ta plus a, only the primary derivative now. Modati daya samanki no. That means it involves with happiness. So that means when seeing a happy living beings, we are so happy, we can appreciate it. This is also called modita. Sayam modati, we just oneself. 
also we can also say naturally rejoins. Same also can be by itself. The motor mata mewa just the extent of rejoice. That is merely rejoice. Mea rejoice. This is also called mudita. So sometimes we our rejoice will be associated with attachment or something like that. This one is then merely rejoice. No color in it. Okay, now we have to move to the next one, Uba ka. Uba plus ika plus na plus a. This is also primary derivative now. So Uba ka, yeah, Uba ka, Uba ka, to be indifferent. Look on, is equanimity. So, these are the body definitions of metta, karuna, and ubika. Then we also have to know the characteristics, the function, the manifestation, the prosmic cause of metta, and so forth. The characteristics is promoting the welfare of living beings. So here we should talk about hita, gara, poverty, lakana. Hita agara poverty. So that means we have to make for the welfare of living beings. This is the nature of metta. Hitupa Sahara Rasa. The function is to prefer their welfare. Then three. Agata Vinaya Betupatana. Manifestation is the removal of annoyance of evil. So that means if we have very strong meta, it will naturally remove annoyance or evil. That we may feel as we have already removed annoyance or evil. Four. Satana Manapa Bhava. Dasana Batatana. The Brosmi cause is seeing living beings as lovable. So sometimes we may need meta to be able to love every living being in the world. So these are the definitions of meta, its characteristics, function. Manifestation and prosmic cause. Now we can also continue talking about Karuna. Oh, one more thing here, sure. We talk about Meta, let me, it's to see when it makes evil, it's it was it was society. Out of that, it fails when it produces selfish affection. So sometimes we were really meta with ego or selfishness. Right? This is it, the failure of meta. As long as we can subside it will, then it will be powerful. We are, we are successful in meta meditation. Okay, we can continue use karuna, compaction. The characteristics is promoting the aspect of allaying suffering. Dokha banayana kara poverty. Banayana also becomes like promoting or removing or allaying suffering. Here mentioned, right? Then again, two. The function is not bearing others' suffering. Paradoka sana. On hearing somebody is suffering, we don't want to hear those kind of things. This is, the, this is the function. Then three, the manifestation is non cruelty. Are we hinsa? That means no more torturing, no more bullying. When we have compassion to our living beings, 
the four, the proximate cause is to see helplessness in the in those overwhelmed by suffering. Dukkha, vibhuta, vibhutana, anatta, bhava, dasana. That means, as we have mentioned here, the proximate cause is to see helplessness in those overwhelmed by suffering. So these are um, the nature of karuna, compactions. Then we have to move to the next one, mudita, sympathetic joy. The characteristics is gladdening, pamodana, produced by other people's success, other living beings' success. Then the function is being an envious, yeah, an isayana, not isayana, isami jealousy or envious, envious. So here, no more envy, no more jealousy. We can also say like a no more possessiveness, right? In the case of Murita. Then again, three manifestation is as. The eliminations of aversion, boredom, arati, vikata. So that means sometimes if we cannot feel happy, we cannot have murita. If we have murita, we will be, we will not have any boredom or any aversion. Then the prosmic cause is seeing living beings success. Satana, somebody dasana. So then we will be able to see people are successful. Then this is the nature of mudita. Then again, upeka, equanimity. Actually, we have many different types of equanimity. We have already explained in Vidamata Sangha, in Vidama talks. But here then we just talk about the sublime by then upeka. It will be different from Ubaka feeling. Be careful. This is not Ubaka feeling. This is Ubaka sublime abiding, divine abiding. So Ubaka equanimity. The characteristic, the characteristic is promoting the aspect of naturality to what living beings. Satesu, Matada Bhava poverty. So Matada Gara poverty. Then the function is to see equality in beings. Satesu, Sama Bhava, Dasana. Then three, the manifestation is as the quieting of resentment and approval, Pritikanunaya, Ubasama. Then four, the Brosmic cause is seeing Ownership of gamma. Thus, so Babada, gamma, saka, dasana. That means he is his hair to his own gamma, something like that. We have to see. So, this is the nature of Ubaka. As we have already. Is for sublime abiding, Ubaka is the highest, the strongest. When we have Ubaka, we can feel more, peace or, more peacefulness. Okay, anyway, we have to continue another groove. Being as owner of their gamma, actually, this is going to be a planet, continuation of the best Rosemary cause. Those who, if not, they are is the choice by which they will become happy or will get free from suffering or will not fall away from success they have reached. So that means we are the owner of our own karma. Karma is our own creator. We're gonna go beyond that. If we know this kind of, if we have this kind of perceptions or if we have this kind of understanding, we can have equanimity. Okay, now 
we have to continue the next group. The Four Enemies of Divine Biden, Bhayabhada Evil. As we have mentioned before, when we talk about Four Sublime Bidens, Metta is very close to Raga attachment, right? So, as we have mentioned, all the Four Sublime Bidens, the first three, for example, Metta, Karuna, Murita, these three are very opposite of Dosa, hatred. So here, Bhayabhara, this evil, this is also a kind of dosa. We have that mind. It's harming ourselves to harm other people. That's, this is not really very good. We call dosa. We have some cruelty. So if we have compactions, no cruelty. This is also a kind of dosa. It comes from dosa. Already discontent. Of course, if we don't have any contentment. We cannot delight in the forest monastery. We cannot delight in meditation. Another one is Bhutika Nunaya, grant or friendliness. So when we have all these four, these are the very far enemies of divine violence. So which means when we have these one of these four, we cannot practice divine violence easily. Then the Niya, enemies of divine abiding. Sineha, affection. So this is very close to Metta, right? Sineha, very affections. This is also a kind of side effect of Metta. Sometimes because of Metta, we have too much attachment. It changed the attachment easily. And then Soka, grief. I will always say this one is also very close. This is also the, the enemy of very close to the Karuna compaction. Sometimes we feel pity, but at the same time we also feel sorry. Just come for in our minds. We have compassions in the very beginning, but later it mess up with worry, grief. Sometimes we also have, a, I think I've already said this one many times, sometimes meta, oh sorry, sorry, attachment also can pretend as meta. Grief or sorrow also can pretend as karuna. So now, there's a bahasa, great joy. This is also something joined with attachment. Right? This kind of thing also can happen. So great join also, very close to Murita. Also can be enemies because sometimes some or not all the join are Murita. Right? Then we must have joined towards all the living beings equally. Then four, anyanupeka, equanimity that associated with ignorance. So that means sometimes we don't know the truth as the truth, and truth as untruth. Sometimes we don't know the benefits of the practice. Sometimes we don't know the advantages and disadvantages of the practice. So. Because of not knowing, we also, we also ignore or neglect our practice. This is not equanimity. This is not ubeka. This is neglecting duties, neglecting responsibilities. So if we have, if we know the responsibilities, if we practice our responsibilities with equanimity, this is really called ubeka. So briefly, sometimes, Ignorance, that means the negligence, ignorance, also, right, can be one of the cause. In Yandupeka, not knowing. Equanimity, that without knowledge, with ignorance, we can say like that. So these are the disadvantages of the near enemies of sublime violence. 
Okay, now we have to print and use the next one. The beginning, the middle, and the end of four subline buttons. So the beginning of divine Biden is willingness or desire to practice. So if we are willing to practice, if we desire to practice, this is very beginning. If we are unwilling, we cannot practice easily because this one is a little bit different from recitation. Mostly we are used to be with recitation, but not practicing. So we have very strong willingness or very strong desire we can practice for subline guidance and we can take up to four jhana medakruna mrita abrutha jhana ubaka up to four jhana then two the middle of divine abiding is surprising the hindrances so that means as we can see the nimita we can subside the hindrances when we can attain asset concentration also, we can suppress the hindrances. And when we can attain jhana, sure, we can also subside the hindrances, suppress the hindrances. Then three, the end of divine attain jhanas. So we have different types of jhanas according to different practice. We have repeatedly talking about that jhana, right? One to first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, in metta, karuna, mudita. For jhana in ubaka. So the, these are the, the end of the practice, the, the end of four sublime bindings. Then again, we have to continue the next groove about outcome. Mm. Now you're finished, right? Okay, now. The immeasurable beings are the objects. So they mean here immeasurable, uncalculable, uncountable, limitless, boundless. So they mean any kinds of living beings are the objects. So sometimes, for example, meta, we may have, we may have meta to our, our relatives. That's not pure meta. Because we have attachments, because we have family. Family attachment, right? Blood attachment. Not only that, some of we also have like a friends. We also have attachment to our friends. We have like meta to our friends. It's not very pure meta. So when we have meta, it will be immeasurable living beings, all types of living beings. Anywhere, any kind of living beings, you may have meta to them. Then five, the automation, it can be expanded after attaining access or absorption concentration. So as we have mentioned before, in meta meditation, we have to expand near to far, little by little. For example, we were already compaction to our suffering beings, we can attain jhana, and we may expand, we may expand from near to far. Was about one inches or one feet, about one inches or maybe two inches, something like that. After that, one feet, two foot, and so forth. Also, was it one foot, two feet, and so forth? We have to radiate compassion towards suffering beings, little by little, and the other infinite universe. So, after attaining excess of absorption concentration, we can expand into 10 directions. This is the practice of four sublime patterns. Then we have to continue the next one, the outcome. So this one is not only about four sublime patterns. Okay, we should go particularly one casinos. Then we was without practicing casinos. We cannot attain material channels. Then there are some scholars, they say, even with anapanasati, we can attain immaterial jhana. They have this kind of perception, this kind of understanding. But here, according to this source, 
immaterial jhanas are the outcomes of the casinos. Without prizes and casinos, we cannot attain the immaterial jhanas. Because after removing the casinos, and we can also practice boundless space, and we can also focus on boundless space, we can also attain the first immaterial jhana. That is why without casinos, it's impossible to take immaterial jhanas. So the next lesson will be about immaterial jhana, okay? But today, just introduction. Two, the base of nether perceptions, no non perception, is the outcome of three lower immaterial jhanas. Neither to say, we have already known without foundation, we cannot move, we cannot build very high building. Similarly, without the first, the second, the, the, the third immaterial jhana, we cannot attain the highest immaterial jhana. Then, three, the fruition attainment is the outcome of insight. I think everybody knows this theory. When we can practice vipassana very diligently, if we can know all the namarubas clearly, all the nijadukanada characteristics clearly, then when our insight knowledge becomes very mature and powerful, we can take path and fruition knowledge. That is why we can understand fruition attainment is the outcome of the insight. Then another the sensation attainment is the outcome of samatha vipassana. The next one, number four. So this one called, we call nirada samapati. So from time to time, some question also asks me about the cessation attainment and nether perception number. They also say, what's the difference between these two? In the case of nether perception or non-perceptions, although it seems, okay, the only one we get already, nether perception, no non-perception. I mean, it has very subtle perception. In the case of the cessation attainment, it's cessations of rupas, so it's cessations of namas and mind produced materialities. I mean, no more perception there. So the cessation attainments, the Nirodha Samapati, can be entered by only Anagami and Arahat, those who have attained the eight attainment. So they have to practice both sometimes with us and at the same time. Then we alternatively. After that, they can attain into they can enter into the session attainment. So that is why here I mentioned the outcome of Samatha Vipassana, because the patient must try to enter both Samatha Vipassana. Alternatively, some of us not attainment, alternatively, finally, finally they can say, Nirvana Samapati, cessation attainment. The five, the Ubika fourth jhana is the outcome of Metta, Karuna, and Mudita. We have already talked about it. Without Metta, Karuna, Mudita jhanas, we cannot attain Uvaka for jhanas. Okay, now for today, we have to continue the next part about Metta Sahakata Sura or Halita Vasa Sura. This is from Samhita Nikaya. Actually, okay, I just summarize. This sutta in the original sutta is very long. So one no Buddhist Buddhist aesthetics. Here yeah, I just recommend actually it doesn't mention they just compare actually. One people visited their 
compound, they are monasteries. Then they also talk to the bhikkhus. Your teacher, Karma Buddha, also talk about full supply and violence in order to suppress the hindrances. We also teach full supply and violence in order to suppress the hindrances. So they just want to say, we are the same. You know, you also practice the same. We also, we also practice full supply and binding. We also practice full supply and binding. We are the same. They just want to prove that they are, we are the same. That's when they talk, talk, they talk to the big or full supply and violence. Then the bhikkhus brought that topic to the Buddha and asked how different the teaching of the Buddha and known Buddhist Buddhist teaching. So, as we have already know, the difference. Then the Buddha said very simple things to them. If they are this kind of questions, we also should put counter questions. Yet the Buddha instructed the bhikkhus to put the counter questions. Although we practice full sublime body together, what's the destination? Then what is it the combination? Because here in Bali, we, we say this one as like a King Parma. Because what's the highest? Then what's the fruit? What is the fruit? In Bali, we call King Pala. The four, what's the final goal? King Priyosana. Yeah, we go to the Priyosana, we go to like, what's the end? The end of sublime by day. So, of course, in Buddha teaching, we also talk about the jhanas and Vipassana and many other things based on for sublime by In numerous teaching, it cannot be that much in detail. Then here we have to continue talking about the sublime abidance. So one who can develop the full divine abidance can change his perception. Okay, for example, one, he can dwell perceiving repulsive and unrepulsive. We can also see another way. He can also see in the beautiful things nice things, desirable things. So mostly we can find this kind of instructions in Cha Lang Peka. Especially, our hearts can achieve this kind of quality. But those who can practice metta very well also can achieve this kind of things. So this is a change in their mind. Then two, he can draw perceiving our repulsives and the repulsives. That means although they have seen or they encounter something undesirable, they can also they can also change their perception to be desirable. That means I'm beautiful, I'm nice, no nice, but they can change. They are can change as a beauty or as a nice. Then three, he can draw the seven repulsives and the repulsives or unrepulsives. This combination of reverse two, change his perception. Then four, the last one in this group. And he can draw the unrepulsives and the repulsives or unrepulsives. He can change his perceptions. Actually, when we talk about Chalengu Peka, especially when I had attained a hardship, they may have this kind of mind. I should keep a mind. Although he's, he sees the sign of object, his mind cannot be shaken by its beauty or is it quality. Although he encounters undesirable things, he, his mind is not shaken by these undesirable things. This is called Tanakubeka or Ashikiba mind. 
Similarly, when we have full supply and variance, we can change our perceptions easily. Because it takes all the living beings as objects. For example, if we have too much attachment, okay, we can also change as the suffering beings. Here we suffer a lot. Change to compassion. The same change to something to join. Because it succeeds. So it can be many different ways of approach, many different ways of perception, when seeing or when hearing, smelling, tasting, touching, or any object. The five, he can develop the seven enlightenment factors and three immaterial jobs. So this is also very common instructions. Actually, we have already talked about enlightenment factors how to develop seven elements. But here, when we continue talking about enlightenment, it will be too long, right? We have already explained before. That means when we can take jhana, there are seven enlightenment factors in it. For example, in the meta meditations, we have without mindfulness, we cannot attain sati. Also, if we cannot Perceive living beings. We have to an analyze many different types of living beings, Tamavijaya. And so forth. That means there are seven element factors we can develop by practicing for sublime violence. Then three material jhanas. Then it will be a little bit messy for you. So the three material jhanas, how is it possible? Actually, it mentions in the in the questions they are mentioned what is the the combination gain poverty sorry gain parama because it's the highest then how is it possible right so i think when you read with Sodimaka, it will be very messy not that easy to understand okay for example in the case of meta the meta has only positive we also like a beauty as the highest, the super parama that we have already mentioned, the four, right? Previous four, previous four. Then Karuna. So Karuna is the bonus as the highest. Why is it possible? When we practice boundless space, we have to know the weakness of the repulsive of materialities material bodies so can we also take suffering being as object that means without suffering brought up by somebody or maybe killed by somebody suddenly by somebody like brought up with the snakes or the sticks or stones or any other thing so Kuna will take suffering being as objects. All the suffering comes from the body. If we don't have this body, we don't have this kind of suffering. Nobody can torture. Nobody can use sticks or stones to torture, to torture us if we don't have body. So that is why to know the force of material is very clear, very easy for Karuna practitioners. That's why when they practice immaterial jhana, they can practice easily, especially when they practice boundless space. Jhana is very easy for them. They can practice easily, comfortably. That's why it's also called the Karuna is a, the ground for boundless space. Then again, Mudita. Murita also take living beings actually happy mind. You know, happiness or living beings, happiness activities. So that is why Murita is a, Murita has sorry, Murita has the boundless consciousness as the highest. We call Parama. 
Because we shall take happiness of living beings. Happy living beings. Or happiness of living beings. Of course, if we don't have mentality, we will not feel happiness. Right? This is come from mentality, come from the mind. So happiness of living beings as objects, that's why when they practice, when the multi practitioners practice homeless consciousness, they can take the consciousness, the mind easily, because they are used to be with taking the mind or happiness as object. So that it will be easy for them. Because they say the Murita is great. So then Murita is the ground for honorless consciousness. Then finally Upika. Upika has nothingness as a highest dimension in Usurimaga. Nothingness jhana. So that means if we just have equanimity, equanimity will not take happiness or unhappiness as object. It will not take happiness or unhappiness as object. It just take non-existent ultimate reality. That means, like uh, Kama Saka, right? They have, they have their own Kama as a, they have, they have their Kama as a, their owner. That means they don't have happiness. He don't. He does not take happiness. I have happiness. Is it disappearance or happiness or unhappiness? Then that is why when Ubaka practitioners trying to practice nothingness jhana, they can easily bring their minds to a nothingness. So that means nothingness means the absence of the immaterial, the, the boundless consciousness, the material jhana, right? So briefly, if we can practice the full sublime abidance, then as we have mentioned before, there can be different types of perceptions of repulsiveness, duty, and something like that. This is a one, one of the benefits. Another one is it can be very, very strong, very big foundations, or it can be grounds for three immaterial jhanas. So if I summarize, Karuna has the boundless space as the highest, Murita has the consciousness as the highest, Ubika has the nothingness as the highest. They have different grounds, they have different foundations, they have different highness, they have different ability to produce higher jhanas. So this is the practice of Metta, Karuna, Murita, and Ubaka meditations for today. So here we have to introduce a few more things about, as a conclusion, I have to introduce something about Brahma Vihara. I think I have already talked about Brahma Vihara before. Brahma means a Brahma living beings. Vihara means living. So sometimes you may have seen some image of Thailand or Cambodia, uh, the Cambodia culture, for example, like uh, when Devas and Brahmas approach the Buddha, they made different types of picture. Deva will be just normal clothes, but Brahma may have four faces. One face, one, one face represents you, Metta, Another face represent, represent Karuna, another one Morita, and the last one Ubika. So sometimes when we can live with four sublime violence or four divine violence, this is also Brahma Vihara. We are like a Brahma. As we have mentioned before, if we pass away, 
when we can when entering into any of jhanas, we can be reborn as a Brahma in the Brahma world. This is also one of the benefits. So from time to time, we may have different experiences. So when seeing different living beings, we can change our perceptions. We could end our daily life whenever we have anger, hatred, worry, we can do metta. We can practice metta meditation. And sometimes we have a lot of ill will, a lot of cruelty, do metta, so do karuna, compactions. If we, if we have a lot of jealousy, if we cannot bear, if we don't, if we don't wish to see somebody's success, somebody's success, then we have to practice mudita. We have to blue shades. Then from time to time, if we have a lot of miserable experiences, we can also continue practicing upekha. It could lead to us all living beings, thinking about their own karma as their own creator. So by practicing full supply by then, we can also subside defilements, we can also subside hindrances, but we can also improve our mental quality. We may have different lifestyles, different living styles. That's why I mentioned divine living styles. So as a human being, we can be a deva. We can be a divine beings if we are brightest and full supply of But today I will stop here. And may you all be able to practice the full supply of violence. And also may you all be able to attain the jhanas as mentioned according to the practice. Then may you all be able to continue practice and vipassana based on all the full supply of violence. May you all be able to re realize the inner suffering, find the final suggestions, and the power of inside knowledge. During the offering of the Sangha, how to pay attention as a Sangha when we offer to the assisting Sangha? Mm -hmm. Can we pay attention it as the Sangha mm -hmm. at the time of the Buddha, which is led by the Buddha? And would it include okay. the Sangha led by the past Buddha or the future Buddha? So in the normal offerings, can we do such uh, atten uh, paying attention or only offering katina only? We can offer by paying attention to the Sangha. And when we offer to one bhikkhu, can we pay attention as offering to a Sangha? Okay. So it depends on your wish. For example, in the case of Katina, sure, we have to pay to the Sangha. Although you offer to one bhikkhu, it's a representative of Sangha. This is the one then, right? So there are many other cases like that. For example, lucky draw. When we offer some donations by lucky draw, although you offer only one, one bhikkhu, this is also Sangha Katana. Okay, the main thing is, as you in your question, you also mentioned past Buddha Sangha or no present Sangha or future Sanghas. It depends. Okay, for example, in the case of monastery, of a building, in our use the pal, Akata Nagadasa, Chetodisa, Angasa. Akatami, though who has already arrived at the monastery. And Akatami, not yet arrived. They were kind in the future. So we offer, if we say Sangha, that means all the Sangha who, can, who are living in the current place or those who will come in the future. Because this is a, a building we can use whole life. In the case of the foods, it will be a little bit different. You can pay attention to the Sangha, but don't bhavali. Sangha Salima, right? It's risky. Sometimes they offer, for example, a of a piece of cake, for example. But we have found the Sangha in Pau Doya. Now offer to one bhikkhu saying Sangha Sadema in the Beta Pada line. So there are many other bhikkhus. We have to share. Right? 
all the sanghas. So that means you can pay attention to any sangha as you wish, as you feel happy or pleased. It's okay, no really big problem. As you mentioned, past Buddhas. So of course, you can also pay attention to that. But they're going to enjoy anymore, right? If you offer food, they're going to take anymore. So that means it should be present sangha. Or you can also pay attention like it. Sangha's quality. So it more be more meaningful, more, more beneficial. Okay? So that means there are two different options for you. One is pay attention to the Sangha. That means only the personality. Many, many different, many, many bhikkhus in the row, something like that. Or you can also pay attention to the quality of the Sangha. You can choose either one. It will be fine. Okay? Next one. Yes, yeah, though. Uh, he is a beginner in the, the Buddha teaching. At the beginning, when he reads the Abhidharma, he doesn't understand well the Abhidharma's saying about Bhiti, Michaditi. Means this attachment as I mm -hmm. means the believing of the soul and mm -hmm. there is another big me or big I and all this mm -hmm. uh, attachment is wrong then his question is mm -hmm. then who is the one in the samsara of the six realm and if my body is empty, then who will attain the Magapala? Mm -hmm. Means basically, if there is no I, okay. who is in the Sangsara and who will attain the Magapala? Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a good question, right? Actually, many people ask similar questions. There's a no I. They haven't successful. Who's, who's successful? Who's listening? Who's giving the talk? You know, many questions like that. Okay, you may have to learn the middle process. You may also have to know something about the particles, Rubakalapas. It will rise and perish every, every single nanoseconds. All right? So let me show that in nanoseconds, it will rise and perish. So that means. If we can know rise and embrace of Nama Rupas clearly, then you don't, need, you don't need to ask this kind of question. Okay, now I should say another simile. In this very life, you practice meditations, or you also learn many different things, you also have accumulated many good things or bad things. This is called Kama. Then, there we come a potency, potentiality to produce his rasa in the future. Then this life, when you pass away, Namarupa in this life already finished, it will start a new life. This life only come in force, potentiality will force you, will produce new life in the future. New Namarupas will start. Okay, I, to, to make it clear, I should give an example. For example, a candle light. You have already lit an, a, a candle light. There's a flame on it. You will lit with another candle light. It becomes too, it will become too flame. It doesn't mean the first candle, the flame of the first candle light comes to the second candle light. It's not like that. The first candle light just produce the flame in the second candle light. There's a wax, there's a wick, there's a heat, the flame, it produces new light, new flame in the second candle light. Similarly, in this very life, you may have accumulated many good and bad things. There's also defilements, expecting something or hoping something, defilements. 
Also, it will produce result in the future. Right? So as long as there's a gamma or there's defilements, there will be new life. So that means only gamma fox and defilements, gamma potentiality and defilements will produce new life with new Nama Rupas. So who were in Ta Nama Rupa, who were in Ta Nibbana, who were attained Nibbana, sure. This life you cannot attain. If you cannot attain this life, sure, this life, there will be new person. There will be, for example, you wouldn't have good behavior in this very life. This behavior will follow next life. Right? Next that means that is a mental process, Nama Rupas. So when you are mature in this body life, okay, this maturity will follow this life. It will fall, it will produce next life Nama Rupa to be mature. So that means according to modern example, easier example, nobody can swim in the same river two times. I think you may have this, this kind of understanding, right? When you Go into the river. When you swim in the river, the first time when you swim, the water you touch will be in the down. Will, will be will go downstream. That's why you cannot touch. You cannot go into. You cannot swim in the same river two times. Similarly, you cannot be reborn. Right? That's the same person. But okay, we can say the same person, but different namarupas. Okay, so the same process, but different namarupas. So you can say like that. Okay, next one. Siado is up. It's now about ten o'clock. Does do Siado wants mm -hmm. to uh, continue to answer questions? Okay, it's okay. No big problem. Okay. How many okay. questions remaining? Uh, maybe about uh, another five, six questions. Okay, okay, we can continue. It doesn't matter. It's okay. Okay. So, this question three Dear Siado, what will be the failure in the practice of metta, compassion, mudita, and upeka? Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have already mentioned the failure there, right? Yeah. Right? We already mentioned the failure of metta, yeah. guna, mudita, there, right? Mm hmm. Actually, you know, if we have, okay, maybe I, I, I should review all the failure, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Failure of... Mm -hmm. Okay, near enemies and another outcome, the failure. Actually, we have already mentioned about Sineha Audrey, the, about the failure of hmm? we only mentioned about failure. I cannot find failure now. Okay, here we talk about okay, okay, enemies, right? Far enemies near enemies, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the main thing is okay. For us, for about meta. If we talk about meta, that means we must be able to eliminate. It will, if we cannot eliminate it will, there will be failure. Not only that, if we have selfishness, self affections, this is failure of meta, right? For about for about karuna, you know, this is like a worry. If we have worry, a lot of worry, or we have well, some words are like a cruelty, then this is the failure of compaction. About mudita is very simple. Then if we have jealousy, this is a failure of mudita. What about Ubeka? So I always say in Yanubeka, sometimes we have 
we think we have equanimity and we neglect our duties, right? This is also called failure. Okay, next one. Yes, Siado. Could Siado explain what is the great compassion of the Buddha? Is it different from the compassion we learned today? Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Okay. So oh, one more thing about the compassion here. When we talk about great compassion, this is the foundations of parami. Similarly, now we also have the compactions. When our compassion becomes very strong, it can be the foundations of parami perfections. So in the case of the Buddha, he has very strong compassion to our living beings. Then this compassion force him to fulfill all types of parami. Okay, that's why if we say great compactions, this is also similar to our practice today, but it will be, will be stronger than normal people. That's why it will be very strong producing cause of perfections. Pardon me, okay? Next one. Yes, Yado. Oh, this is a Vietnamese question. Vietnamese uh, Yado. Uh, so when we practice, Meta meditation. So, how can we know that we are already attained uh, first jhana or second jhana or third jhana? Thank you, Sado. Okay. So, actually, we also have living beings as objects, right? We can also see living beings clear, clearly. Object must be clear. Then, also, there's can be brightness in the can see living beings. Then, our mind can absorb on the objects then we can also like a balance by controlling faculties we will not fall into the bonga states we'll keep knowing one object deeply this is called fast jhana we can start to say the fast jhana right so if we cannot balance by controlling faculties as, as we have mentioned before in anapana sati this is asset concentration so okay as we know we cannot balance Okay, and fall down into fall into boiling sticks as a as a concentration. Now after overcoming that, we can we can say this is the first jhana. And based on that, we can also improve another jhana up to that jhana. Right? Okay. Next question, say no. So when I say it all, I am the uh, I am a ladies. I also have a family. Uh, but I have attachment to another man and sometimes my feeling and also just in my mind I didn't do action but in my mind I have attachment to another man mm -hmm. uh, even though that man is not uh, suffering because of me but my mind is a lot of suffering mm -hmm. uh, I try to practice uh, asuba and another uh, meditation subject however I cannot do. So can Sado teach me our compassion? How can I overcome that? Mm -hmm. Okay, attachment is actually people say how to talk about this 32 body parts, right? If you try to see the 32 body parts one by one, I think at least you can overcome this attachment. For example, which one do you like? Head hair do you like? Body hair? Do you like body hair? Something that you can ask part by part. But it is you can overcome attachment to the, that, that man, right? Okay, the main thing is we also have another way to overcome it. That is our own tarot body parts. You can also do your own tarot body parts as a repository. So the main thing is if you have rotation subjects in many, many different ways, then you can also overcome attachment. Okay. Then, uh, for, to overcome attachment, there are many, many other ways also, right? Many other, many other, many other ways. And sometimes, like, uh, everybody has their weakness. And when we think about weakness of other people, we have less attachment. Some like a disturbance. If we know somebody like a disturbance of suffering of ours, for example, like you have to suffer for it, right? Although you didn't make any body actions but you in your mind is very suffering miserable life so that means you can think about your own mind how, how miserable life you are right compassion to yourself also one more thing if you have compassion to yourself 
then had to have compassion to all other living beings at least you can overcome attachment to it so i think the more affected one will be miserable life or miserable like happy does that mean like um how do you this one mental pain you know mental pain so taking your own mental pain as objects you can do compassion to yourself it will be more affected okay Sambadam bunya sambadam Sabe dewa no more than do Sabe Buddha no more than do Sabe Sada no more than do Saba somebody sidia Idam me nyadinam ho do Sukida hondu nyadeo Idam me nyadinam ho do Sukida hondu nyadeo Idam me nyadinam ho do Sukida hondu nyadeo he dame bunyam asawe kaya waham hodu. He dame bunyam nibasa patio hodu. Mama bunya bagam sabasa danam bajimi de sabe me samam bunya bagam lavandu sadu sadu sadu.